Welcome back, everyone. So Community Health Resources is a nonprofit behavioral health provider here in Connecticut, connecting families in need with resources and support. Jessica and Caitlin, we are so excited that you're joining us in studio this morning to talk about a really important topic, which is mental health. So thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for having us. So when it comes to mental health, what should parents know uh, to really help their children thrive? opening the lines of communication. Mm -hmm. And so ensuring that we have a chance to talk with our children, meeting them where they're at in order to be able to open those lines is very important to being able to support their mental health. Mm -hmm. They need to feel comfortable. Absolutely. Right. Any way that you can create that communication to be a safe place for them to land mm -hmm. is the best thing you can do as a caregiver. And once you've created that safe space, what are some of the common signs or symptoms that may indicate that your child does need help? Sure, so families are really looking for a dramatic change in behavior. And those changes could look like school performance, mm -hmm. mood, being sad, social engagement, or changes in social groups. So when a family decides that they might need some help, and, and I hope that they get to that point because this isn't something that they should deal with alone, what should families expect when they come to CHR for outpatient care? So I think the first and foremost is that they're gonna be heard and respected. Mm. You know, as individuals who work with children, their families are a huge component of that. So whether that's a caregiver session, mm -hmm. family sessions, being part of the treatment planning, they know their child mm -hmm. the, the best. And so the more that we can empower them and help them through the process and give them the tools to support their child long term, the better off the children are. Therapy really is a safe and non-judgmental place. We use therapy to support exploring concerns that the family and child might have at mm -hmm. that time. Um, as well, building individualized tools that they are needing to be successful. Mm -hmm. Does CHR offer specialized services for children or teens who may have experienced trauma? Absolutely. So I just want to say first that trauma, and the way we define it in the mental mm. health world, mm. is any sort of adversity or highly stressful event that impacts the child after the event. But at CHR, we offer a variety of evidence-based treatment modalities mm -hmm. that have been highly researched and have shown effect uh, effectiveness mm -hmm. across diverse populations. And so the three major ones that we use are TFCBT, which is trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy. Mm -hmm. We also use MATCH, which is also a, um, it's a modular approach to treatment with children, and it has four major protocols that so really can treat any child that walks in. So it focuses in on anxiety, depression, trauma, and conduct. Mm -hmm. And then the other one that we use is CBITS or bounce back in the school system. What's, Im what's incredible about all these models is that they're time limited. Mm -hmm. So they've been studied and created to provide the most effective tools to the family and the child in a short period of time so the child doesn't have to remain in therapy forever. Mm -hmm. And so those are the three main ones we use in our child outpatient as well as our school-based treatment centers. Okay. Now, where are some of the outpatient offices? We have clinics in Manchester, Enfields, Bloomfields, Willimantic, East Hartford, and Danielson. As well, we have school-based clinics okay. embedded within many of those communities. Mm -hmm. And both the school-based clinics and the um, outpatient clinics offer a hybrid model of telehealth and in-person services. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we understand that there are openings at CHR, including the Child and Family Division. So why should someone consider that as an option? In terms of therapy, we're enhanced care clinic, and mm -hmm. obviously we're providing these evidence-based practices. Yeah. In terms of employment, we do have openings. Okay. If you're looking for meaningful rich work that embeds you in the community, this is a great option for you. We have been a top employer for the past 10 years straight, mm -hmm. and that's because of the commitment to employee wellness, paid time off, very generous packages, mm -hmm. and there's this great work-life balance. There's a lot of support, um, definitely potential for growth as well, and that's one thing I wanna highlight. There are so much training opportunities to grow those skills so that mm -hmm. you're always learning. And if people would like more information, whether it be about those employment opportunities or just the services that you provide to the community, where's the best place for them to get that? So our website is www.chrhealth.org and it's forward slash careers. You can also find us on Indeed. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time um, and you. also kind of working to um, eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health. Help is available and your organization is certainly a great resource for families if they need it. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And stick around because CT Live continues right after this.